Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant IB back again. Uh, back again with my news and views, my views on some of the news. And um, kind of getting tired and it's time for us to start doing some stuff. All right, black men, brothers, brothers that are in the truth. All right, B black men that are following truth. Black men that are attending to the laws of nature black men interesting interested in blink bringing back the commandments within the black community i'm talking about all of us all black men uh regardless of your system um whatever system that brought you to righteousness but i'm talking about black men that sees these um uh, these black women as unrighteous all right, and the spawn of this black woman um, has just become atrocious, atrocious, right? And so the title of this one is Many Spawn of the Single Black Woman Have Become an Abomination. Black men, it is time for battle. All right, and so we're going to discuss... Um, the fronts that we need to battle on, starting with this one, all right, and some of the tactics we need to start taking. And a lot of these tactics I'm not going to discuss here, but I'm going to just give you some idea that um, some of the stuff uh, we need to do and it's making the news because only we will do it. A black woman, generally, black women do not see early signs of when somebody's messing with their little child and stuff like that. And by the time the damage is done, there's nothing she could do about it because a black woman only thinks of herself and she actually thinks that she could protect when that's not what she was created for. It was our job as men to protect. But hey, they didn't want good men. So their children are just open to whatever they get, right? And we're talking about there's no such thing as a single black woman with a child that um, that is in the truth. And she um, she want to be without a man. She want to she thinks she, she don't really need no man. That's not a woman that's in the truth. She's like everybody else out there in in this world. Remember, uh, these. Are. Two women adults. And the rest of them are teenagers, and you really can't tell in the women which ones are the adults and which ones are the teenagers. There's only two female adults. And what they did, these are the people that beat that white homeless man to death over a lie. All right, but where did they, how did they become that hyper violent? Well, they were led by a black woman. And, and y'all go back and y'all see the video fo footage. They were led by a black woman. A black woman trained them to do this. A black woman put the fear in it that they should follow her to murder. A black woman. In contrast, let's look at what a man does when he feels like his daughter has stepped over some boundaries. He came with condoms in his pocket, and I have a video of him saying, I came to have sex with your daughter. You know how old Ariel is? Yes, I know how old Ariel is. How old is Ariel? She's 13. How old is she? Caught in the act, Antoine Martin believes he saved his daughter's innocence. He set up a sting operation after he noticed inappropriate messages on his 13-year-old's Facebook page. Just like I suspected, he escalated and went from just talking to her, being a big brother, quote-unquote, type, to saying that he wanted to be her secret boyfriend and that he wanted to have sexual relations with her and how sexy she was. The Martin family met the suspect at the Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Michigan in Highland Park, where his daughter spent time after school. Posing as his daughter, Martin accepted the suspect's invitation for a personal visit, but he had something else in mind. Once he came and walked in the house, I, I grabbed him. 
and grabbed him and hailed him for the police. Ultimately, the 22-year-old suspect was arrested, and this father handed the cops a videotaped confession. Tell me why you came here today. So I came here because I thought Ariel wanted to be my, my girlfriend, so I came here to spend time with her and do what? And to have sex with her. I do not want this to go on to the Boys and Girls Club. I do not want this to go public, man. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I'm sorry. He's supposed to be there to help the kids. He said he has a problem and he had a thirst is what he said. And that he wanted to try to get help and this would be the last time. Uh-huh. Yeah, and this dude didn't go for that. Right? Now, this is a black man. This is a black man that recognized some signs. This is a black man that stood up to his daughter. All right? The black woman don't have that kind of strength to stand up once a black teenage boy comes into his man strength, if the woman did not beat manhood out of him by the time he got there, you see what I'm saying? Then she's going to have a challenge trying to keep him on this straight and narrow. Now, everybody's always going to point out to that one or or that few uh, one, two, three percent of black uh, males that actually made it out their mama's house. And became something productive, right? But in most cases, all this gang violence and all the rest of this crap that we have is the product of single black motherhood women thinking that they don't need a man like this. A man that will stand up to the children. A man that knows that when something's fishy, I got to be creative and do something about it. Now, I'm going to just say this. I had an issue. I had an issue with the the oldest. All right, I'm going to just say that. I had an issue with the oldest. Oldest tried to buck up. Right, but I ain't having it in that in there. I'm not having it cuz I'm the man of this house, right? Uh I ain't afraid of CPS either. I went one better than that. Uh I called the police. You know, the um, like when they had time, you know, not no 911 call to come over and explain the laws where I live. Right. And the laws where I live is like it goes like this. If I decide to whoop your behind as your guardian, not abuse and take switches and hoses and 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 irons and stuff and knock you upside the head like black women have been doing. Not throwing a shoe at you upside your head like black women have doing. But if I decide to go get that leather belt and decide to wear your behind out because you don't know how to listen to nobody. Because all of a sudden you don't think you have to respect no man because some black woman um, told you this. You see what I'm saying? Um, this is brothers. Single brothers that's out there trying to find um, find a woman. We got to be careful of who we um, get involved with. I'm going to say this, and it's a lesson that I've learned. Because a lot of the times these black women come here, and especially when they see you have children, and especially if they're girls, and they try to be like, oh, we're girlfriends now. No, I tell them, in this house, if me and a black woman going to be together, Ain't no, um, this, these are our friends. No, they're not friends, right? And that's, I state this. I said the minute you become friends with a teenager, that's the minute that I don't need you as a woman. Period. You gone. Period. All right, but they come in with this like they girlfriends and stuff and try to teach these girls to subvert the authority of a male. That just don't work because, one, I'll get rid of that woman, that woman, liggity split. All right. So we got to watch our P's and Q's, brothers. We really got to watch our P's and Q's. All right. And we have to make sure that we have stuff in order. Oh, by the way, to end that story, that was one week. That was the warning. Warning comes before destruction. All right. She hopped bad again. I want to hop up in somebody's face. Went, got that belt, wore that behind out. 
decide she want to have a tantrum and and kick and stuff like that uh and kicked called them and then she tried to hop hot with the police officer next thing you know she walking out the house on her way to juvie in handcuffs when she got to juvie she saw two fights i've never had trouble from that girl since she spent like two weeks in juvie saw two for real street for real um girls street girls she saw them fight she didn't want no more after that she realized how good she had it at home we got to stand up to these children and when we see something fishy we need to eliminate it i'm talking to the men f the women the women ain't going to listen to us us they're not going to listen to nobody that's why a lot of their children keep being molested by these dudes that's coming to this door because these dang women can't listen to nobody when somebody's touching their children and you can't tell them nothing so guess who suffer the children that's our first front we gotta fight on all right here's the next front might i remind you brethren the ones who believe in the commandments and not this Jesus, Jesus stuff where um, if you just ask for forgiveness, he he loves everybody and stuff like that. Stuff that I proved that was fake and written by the Flavians. Um, go see my video. Christians stop being stuck on stupid. All right. Go look at that. I'm going uh, I'm to try to put it down in the description box. I'm going to put a few videos down in, in the, the, the description box so that you can see what's going on, right? Leviticus 20 and 10. A man who commits adultery, and I'm going to explain what this is, with the wife of another man who commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, the adulterer and adulteress shall certainly put to death. This means... All you do is listen to all these rappers running around talking about how they sleeping with other dudes, women. Y'all need to break those tapes. Um, yeah, tapes. Lord, see, I'm telling on myself. Y'all need to break those CDs, DVDs, videos. Y'all need to cut them from your house. Do not let that stuff be heard in your house. Not by your son's dudes. This is if you... Um, you're, you're the ones raising the children, not by the son, not by the girls. They, need, they don't need to listen to that mess. Right now, if you're a woman, you say you're in the truth. Your main job is to try to find a brother that's in the truth for a husband. And then y'all two together raise the children. A woman ain't supposed to be raising no children alone for all these reasons. And this is the result that you have from that. All right, let's go on. Leviticus 20 and 11. A man who lies with the wife of his father has uncovered the nakedness of his father. Both of them are, uh, should certainly be put to death and their blood should be upon them. This is what Ham did when he looked upon the nakedness of, his, of Noah while he was drunk. He slept with his mother. And that's why this commandment came up. So in Genesis that happened. In Leviticus, because um, Canaan was cursed as a result of that sin from Ham, they said, no, let's, let's just nip, start nipping this stuff in the bud and kill the people that sleep with their mothers. All right. A, a man who lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall certainly put, be put to death. Oh, see, you can't lie with your daughter-in-law. Right? Because if that's your daughter-in-law, then that means that's your son's wife. They have made confusion in their blood, and uh, their blood is upon them. Oh, and he here's the juicy one right here. Leviticus 20 and 13. A man who lies with a male as he lies with a woman. Both of them have done an abomination. And they shall certainly be put to death. Their blood is upon them. And this is the crap that these black women 
are creating, right? A man who marries a woman and her mother is wickedness. So don't do that. A man who has intercourse with a beast, you kill that beast and that man. A woman who does the same thing, you kill that woman and that man. Look at all this mess we allow to uh, be pervasive in our community. Now, let me tell you where syphilis come from, people. Remember the Tuskegee experiments? But let me tell you where it come from. It came from the European screwing sheep. It's a spirochete. Meaning that it's not quite a virus, it's not quite a bacterial infection. Wh which is why um, when we test for it, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to put it in lame, layman terms. We're testing for kind of like the um, antigen they leave behind. Once somebody has syphilis, they will always be positive for the test for syphilis. All right, you got a test that says yes and no, and then we will titrate. Well, that's getting a little involved. You got a test and a backup test, right? And the backup test will tell you if it's syphilis current or if the person just had syphilis and it was cured. Now, there, syphilis can be cured, but it leaves behind that um, antigen that reacts with the um, test. All right. Now, so that came from when the Europeans were screwing sheep. Then they spread that around the world. Whoop, there it is. So who are our enemy? Number one enemy, the black woman. Remember, let's not get these confused with our sisters. These are black women. These are not our sisters. These are in no part part of our family. Just because they have the same color skin kind of don't mean they part of the family. These women do not represent men in any way, shape, form, or fashion. These are the women that created the Black Lives Matter movement that was funded by Soros. Right? And remember, in the inter interview, these women said that their main goal was to queer the black community. Remember this. That was their main goal, to queer the black community. Um, remember she came up with that long word, heteronormativity? We need to get rid, rid of the patriarchal um, family where the man is the head of the family and you have a husband and wife and stuff like that. They're trying to get rid of the husband wife thing. They're trying to get rid of um, people having children naturally. Oh, what are they trying to replace it with? What did she say? Hmm. How does the church lady say it? Uh, what is that she was trying to say? She wanted to queer the black community. Hmm. I wonder who could have taught these women these things to go so clearly against the commandments. Was it Satan? <laughs> Need to echo. But let's see what she's talking about clear, queer, the black community. Brothers, I beg you, please pay attention to this clip. Asking me why isn't that I don't upload twerking videos or something like that. Here's my thing on this, and I'm going to make this real right. short. And because I everybody knows, I mean, I like my body and everything. All right, that ain't his body, but and that's a I'm, him. to me, I'm just not that. I mean, I take a picture with honey, my cleavage out, and honey, maybe a little emoji over my nipple and stuff, but it's cute. I mean, to me, that shit is sexy. I mean, I've worked hard for my body, whatever, and a photo is different, but Pay what I'm to not this to do is sit my camera up on those bar stool like this, honey. And wait, girl, and get up, turn around, and make my ass cheeks bash up against each other to make some type of entertaining clapping noise for for niggas. Look I at don't, this. I really don't understand the point of it. I mean, I do it. You want to see me clap my ass? I clap my ass. 
I clap my ass, make these titties, titties jingle. Y'all, 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 y'all understand? Something else to wiggle, honey. He said, I give you your motherfucking wiggle. life, honey. But we are going to be on a live chat where they make you put in your debit card. Debit card. Where you pay by the minute. You not fist to, I'm not fist to upload me in slow motion, making my ass cheeks jiggle in slow motion, bitch. Vroom. Now, notice he said Run, debit card, not shit. credit card. Bitch, I'll just be looking at some of that shit. Please, please, girls, if you're going to do that, bitch. Get you, bitch, get on Hustlers Live, bitch. Get you on some type of live chat, bitch. Get you on a live chat. Now, notice he said debit Let card. Let these trick-ass niggas, honey, look at your motherfucking case clap up and down, bitch. Now, once again, I take, I take a cute little boo picture here and there. Querying. The Honey, ain't no nigga ever just seen, you know, just bitch, flat out. Woo, 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 woo. You know, I, it ain't, you know, it ain't no freaky deaky shit like that. Freaky deaky. Honey, you ain't fist to get no video of me shimmying my ass cheeks together. I'm sorry. That is just not me. Now, we don't even know who he talking to. You can pay me and then you can get all the motherfucking footage you want. Now, I want y'all to understand something. Until this dude start talking, a lot of dudes that was this, um, I saw this on Facebook, a lot of dudes in the comment section was claiming that this dude looked better than black women. I was like, what the crap? They were like, this dude looked better than black women. Dudes, here's the other warning. And this is the other line we need to um, start. Dude, we need to not talk to anything that isn't 100% natural. Meaning no fake booty, no fake breasts, and definitely no weaves. If these sisters come to you all tatted up like this thing right here, leave it alone. Because you don't know if it's a he or a she. You don't know if it's a he be pretending to be a she. You don't know this. Right? We need to get back to making choices based on the woman having the com um, appearance that the commandment states that a woman should have. Period. Dudes, we need to leave crap alone. If it ain't natural 100%, don't mess with it. See the um, the fake contacts, fake hair, definitely fake breasts and everything. And he let you know he got other things to jiggle. Even so, um, dudes on Facebook was commenting that this thing looked better than a woman. Right? Now, he looked better than a fake woman, but he don't look better than a real woman. We need to stand up and start fighting this evil born of the betrayal of the black woman. The black woman has been betraying us and then they get their little simps and weak mangina dudes to try to back them on everything. And this is how you know um, it's the women that's leading these weak Negroes. They too, they too afraid to tell the black woman the truth to her face. I don't have that problem. Like I said, I was in a discussion with a dude, and then uh, when a black woman comes out there, all of a sudden she's the queen and this, that, and the other. And I was like, oh, man, these Negroes are so weak in this day and age. And we need to be stronger than that. And we need to start whooping the mess out of that. Period. Like Brooke, Bruce Lee whooping the mess out of this white dude. Remember, this is our this is our other front. These subversive black women, these black dyke women, these black lesbian women, these black women that think they a man, 
All right. They could think that until they run up to one physically. When all war break out, this needs to be the first casualty. Remember, these are black women. These are not sisters. They do not represent the black people in any way, shape, form or fashion. We need to leave them over there with the white feminists where they went. We need to let the rest of the world know that these women do not represent us, nor do we represent them. We will not defend them. We will not support any of their causes, period. That's our other front, brothers. And we need to kill that front dead. All right. Now, we need to do this chop on one other front. And we need to cut this one across the neck. And that's this front. These lying preachers that is running around helping these black women turn these dudes into this. All right. Seeking, like black women, to elevate themselves above the almighty or on par with the almighty. This is the other front. We need to call out their bull and even with the Israelites, all these organizations that's seeking to get people to follow a singular man, that's some bull. Remember, 1 Samuel, 8 chapter, we have no kings. Read it. All right. Now, we got one other problem. Any black woman that teaches, this is our other problem, no black woman that teaches, no black woman should te that teaches um, basically should have anything to do with our children. Alright? Her, her man looking so. Alright? And look at look at the, look at how excited the children are. Talking about some yeah 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 yeah. That's the children watching two grown black women fighting. So now you understand why are that why they are so destroyed by the time they get out of the um the environment that has been provided by the single black educated woman. Oh, they educated. They at least have a bachelor's degree. Yeah, them two women fighting. They're educated. They have a bachelor's degree. How you know? Because they're two teachers. And the students put it up on World Star Hip Hop. You understand? Here are my final thoughts. This is a good idea. Brothers, we need to get ourselves back in shape for this fight. We need to get in shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. All right. Um, I got a couple more things coming down the pipe that, brothers, you're going to need to be aware of. All the people that we've been told were our enemies are not. While well, all the people following Jesus are our enemies. And I don't say that lightly. They follow Jesus, not the commandments. That means they're the enemies to all people that are seeking righteousness. All brothers that don't believe exactly what, our, what we do may not be our enemy. They may be people on a different path learning some different things, right? But. They believe in the same commandments we do. They just don't know it. There's a lot of dudes that's not for this mess that I showed you in this video. They don't understand that it's because of the commandments that they ain't for it. It's not natural law, and the commandments are about natural law. They might call it something else, but that don't make them our enemy. We all need to all make sure that none of this mess that I've just shown you Get confused with represent what the black man represents in the United States. Now, I ain't talking about these simps, wimps, and hotep pimps. All right? 
And let's not get the Hotep brothers confused with the Egyptologists. All right. I'm not in agreement with on everything that they do, but I respect the research that they do and I respect where they're coming from. Like Dr. Omar Johnson, regardless of his issues and um, the irritated genie. All right, he's been putting some stuff out, I mean, for real, for real, him and his people, all right? But we need to get ourselves straight, and we need to start to open up a can of some whoop like this dude is doing right here. My man, Mr. Bruce Ali. With that said, I'm out.